Can you exhale a little bit now, knowing that Wednesday's game is going to be in the Bronx? Um, yeah, I mean, that's a that's an exhale right there for a moment. You know, these guys are so tough to finish off, and especially here. Um, but, you know, we, we really wanted to secure that, and knowing that we're heading out on a tough road trip, obviously going to Tampa for four games, it's a very difficult place to win and um, to handle business there and then and then get this first one and and now uh, kind of start start working on getting ready as best we can for that that Wednesday game. Um, yeah, it's nice to finish that off. Why do you think it's such an advantage to play that game at home? <clears throat> well, I, I mean, I think in a lot of ways we're built for our ballpark, you know, our you know our power plays um, a lot of our guys especially our right-handed hitters you know use use that right field to their advantage um, you know I think it's played out that we've been a very good team at home um, you know I, I love I love the fact that our fans will get to be making the right kind of noise for us and um, I, look, I, I mean, I just think it's not the end, it's not the end all be all by any means. But you know, when push comes to shove, you want to play that game at home. How do you plan on working the next two days? Obviously, the games don't necessarily mean anything. But as far as resting pitchers, using using pitchers, yeah, I mean, that's what will now that that's where the conversations turn. You know, Larry and I will have conversations about who who we want to get work, how much, who we want to rest, um, and this is the same thing for position players. You know, you know who do, who needs to continue to get regular at bats. Who do we want to see in certain situations? Um, you know, we'll we'll do our best to make sure we keep guys sharp, but also um, get get certain guys the proper rest. Kind of a helpless feeling for Britain there. Out in um, obviously the struggles there. You know, didn't make a couple plays behind him and, and loses the strike zone there, but you know, kept on going and uh, you know, getting Chappie up there, getting him ready and. Um, you know, could have completely got away from him, but he at least could continue to compete, found his way, found the strike zone there, and and uh, and Miggy turned in a really nice play behind him there to finish. Aaron, how do you evaluate Hap tonight? I thought he was really good. Um, I thought he was really good. That's, um, you know, and obviously they got to him a little bit there in the sixth inning, but I thought overall he was really sharp. I thought the command was really good. I thought he was really pitch efficient. Um, you know that ball to center field, kind of uh, that Aaron mis misjudged a little bit. Um, probably normally catches that ball, and maybe it's a different inning. And then, you know, Pierce has kind of hurt us a lot this year. So, you know, the line doesn't turn out to be, I, I think, as good as he really pitched. Aaron, do you have uh, any idea what you're going to do with the closer role going forward? Um, we'll 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 continue to work through that. Um, and you know we'll see how the next two pl days play out, and making sure guys get work, and and we'll we'll uh, we'll see. Would Chapman need to? Would you like to see Chapman get uh, a ninth inning before the wild card game? Yeah, That's I, a decision you I, make. I'd like him to, but I also feel like his last couple outings have been in big spots for us, and he's come in and, and pitched well. So I just want him to continue to, you know, get at least another time out there. Um, um, you know, have the ability to bounce back. You know, have his command lined up, and then and then we'll make decisions accordingly. Were you pleased with Didi's at bats for day bats? I really was. You know, he he hit a number of balls hard, and end up with just the one hit. But but I thought really swung the bat well. Had some good at bats against left-handers. Barreled the ball. Didn't seem to have any issues with the wrist. I haven't checked in with him yet um, after the game, but didn't seem to have any issues during the game. So um, that was a positive. You know, obviously, the, obviously, the priority is to show home field on Wednesday. Or were you conscious of the home run chase, the team home run chase, and that you tied it tonight? And do you have any thoughts on the time? I didn't. So until Judge and then some people came running up, did, did he get the ball? And I'm like, what? Um, so no, I, I wasn't really aware of it um, at the time. But um, pretty impressive um, feat that those guys were able to pull off this year. And if we can, we can get one more, uh, 
I guess they have the record, but um, the fact that it's come from so many different people, I think, has been the cool thing. And you know, if if you would have told us we we're going to break that record at the beginning of the year, you would have probably thought John Carlos hitting 50 or 60, Judgey's hitting 50 or 60, Gary's hit, and and that you know because of injuries and different things that hasn't been the case and we've gotten you know a lot of production from a lot of different people that have had a big hand in in that but you know more importantly us uh finishing off uh what's been a, what's been overall a really strong regular season did you check in with dd at all during the game just everything okay or were you confident that yeah I didn't no, I didn't specifically check in, just you know, watching him come back and talking and yeah, I don't think there was any issues for him.